Did you know that running can benefit people of all ages? Well, stick around because today we're diving into some valuable fitness tips that cater to individuals of all generations. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and I like to make videos about running and fitness and the occasional history fun facts, living life and sobriety. Here we're staying active and healthy and in this video we will be sharing some insightful advice on running that's suitable for everyone regardless of age. Whether you're a child, an adult, or a senior, there's something in this video for you. Before we get into the benefits of running for all ages, let's address some of the common misconceptions that often hold people back from lacing up their shoes or hitting the gym, hitting the road, and getting out on the pavement. Many individuals believe that running is only for the young or the fit or the super active, but really that couldn't be further from the truth. We're here to debunk some of those myths and show you individuals that are still running and stay active and how this can work for everyone. As a matter of fact, today I came across a headline that says that the number of participants with Running USA in the age 55 to 65 category has increased since 2015 from 10.8% to 16%, and runners 65 and older has increased from 2.6% to 9%, which speaks to me and demonstrates the power of the perseverance of these athletes as they age, and I'll be sharing more of that coming up. Let's explore the incredible benefits of running for individuals of all ages, starting with children and, and kids, this is when they're getting their balance and coordination, their strength, and their cardiovascular health and building that up. As for adults, we can enjoy stress relief, weight management, and improved heart health through regular running. And seniors can benefit from enhancing bone density, joint mobility, and overall longevity with age-appropriate training. And it's never too late, it's never too early to reap the rewards of a good run. This is further corroborated by my chiropractor that I visited today. I asked him what brought people in who are 65 and over, and he said it's usually a range of motion issues or arthritis-related issues. And he says that arthritis is preventable. He says, Dr. Adam Cooper says, that to keep moving, we have to keep moving, and especially engaging in things like flexibility and strength training as we age. Now, if you're in the Indian land, South Carolina community, see Dr. Adam Cooper. I've been seeing him for many years. It's probably the longest relationship I've had with a man outside of my dad. And he has kept me out running on the road for all this time. So I recommend Dr. Cooper. Now back to the story and exciting stories of two individuals that I run with who perfectly illustrate how running can positively impact across different age groups. I'll start with my friend Sherry, who I deeply admire and respect as a runner and as a human being. She's an awesome person. She is in her 70s and has been running throughout her adult life. She says that while her times have decreased since she was in her 50s, and let's be clear, I run about the same pace as Sherry, she gets great satisfaction out of the feeling that she gets when she has accomplished a run and when she gets finished running she feels great and of course the wonderful people that she meets and that keeps her coming back. Sherry has run through a lot of adversity and injuries including two copperhead snake bites on two separate occasions. She's a great runner, a great person, and I hope to emulate her and be like her when I am in my 70s. Another runner that I'll be featuring in a future video, one of our local run community knows and loves, and that's Joe Schlereth. Now, Joe started running when he was 31, and he never thought that he would still be running at age 74, 43 years later. And since his beginning, his primary goal has been to do his very best. He says his key to staying at it all these years has been determination, his desire to work his plan, and to be consistent. And while keeping these three things in mind, it's allowed him to get better and even more encouraged to keep going. So as his running got better, his running got better. And while Joe still works harder than a lot of people I know in their 30s, he has had to adjust his goals as he's gotten older and he slowed down a little bit. But to be clear on this as well, he still smokes me and can finish a marathon well before me. There are loads of accolades and achievements that Joe has accomplished one of the coolest, he has run a marathon on all seven continents. It has taken him around the globe. 
one of the things that I really respect about Joe is that he has begun our local run group, and that is known as the Speed Demons. And we all credit that to one of the reasons why we continue to come back. The local run community is one that I am so grateful for and has truly changed my life. Deepest respect to both Sherry and Joe as they continue to run through their 70s and show us all in this local run community that it is possible and that all those myths that we hear are in fact not true. Now, if two individuals who are still running marathons and half marathons in their 70s is not enough motivation, let's recap the key fitness tips that they give. Determination, working a plan, and staying consistent. While you're at it, find yourself a run community of people who will run with you and support you, and you can support them right back. Running is a versatile and accessible form of exercise that offers a wide range of benefits for people of all ages. Whether you're looking to improve your physical health, your mental well-being, or your overall fitness and quality of life, running is a fantastic option for everyone. I hope you find these tips useful, helpful, and inspiring. Now I want to hear from you. What are your keys to running and fitness? Tell me about your running experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, please check out my other videos that are fitness and running related. Remember that it's never too late to lace up your shoes and hit the road. Thanks for watching.